Hi, this is JNM with a video about a free Unity asset from the asset store called Dungeon Skeleton Demo. I will show you how to create an animator controller to control the animation of the skeleton with a script. So let's get started. Here I'm downloading the asset and when I press import, you can see it comes with an FBX for the model, materials, diffuse textures and three animations for idle, walk and attack. There's no demo scene included, but that's fine, cause it gives us the possibility to create an animator controller from scratch. I drag in the FBX to this empty new scene, so that it is located in the center. You can see it is a low poly model, and when we start the game, nothing happens. Okay, so let's bring this to life. I start by creating a new animator controller, so right click, create, animator controller and I name this skeleton then double click it and drag in the three animations idle walk and attack okay I will define my idle state as the default state so right click and choose Z as layer default state and when I switch to the scene again and drag this new animator controller into the controller slot of the skeleton and then start the game we can already see the idle animation in action and this looks really cool kind of prepared to attack so let's go ahead and add a script to the skeleton that we will use later on to switch the animation on user input i will call this anim control and then it is created and added to the skeleton. So next step is to complete the animator controller. I will create transitions from the idle state to the walk and attack state. And we will also need the transition back to the idle state when attack is finished. Then we will need parameters, a bool parameter to control if the skeleton is walking or not. And I define a trigger called attack that triggers the attack state okay now let's assign the conditions i select the transition from idle to attack and set the condition to the attack trigger then i select the transition from idle to walk the condition is walking is equals to true and i disable the has exit time so that it is executed immediately and what's missing is the transition back to the idle state. And for this, I let the condition be walking is equal to false. Great, then let's also disable the has exit time from the transition idle to attack and we are ready to write our script. So double click the script and Visual Studio will be opened. So what we need to control the animations is a reference to the animator. So I define a member variable here and get this component in the start method. And in the update method, I check if the user presses certain keys. Let's say W for walking and A for attack. So I store the result of the get key for the W key in a bool variable and use this to set the bool parameter walking of the animator controller. Then I check if the A key is pressed and if this is true, I set the trigger attack. Okay, we are done and can start the game to test our animations. This is attack when I press the A key and when I hold the W key down, the character is walking and when I release the W key, I come back to the idle state and press again A to attack and so on. Works as expected. Alright guys, that's it, but let me show you one more thing. Perhaps you would like to add your own animations to the character, and this can be done, for example, by using Blender. I opened Blender 2.78 here with a new project and choose Import FBX. Then I select my FBX file of the dungeon skeleton. In the tab Armatures, I select Force Connect Children and Automatic Bone Orientation. And then I press Import, and here's our character. I don't care here for the textures, so I switch to the solid shading 
and then I enable X-ray so that we can see the bones. Then I press the tab key and switch to pose mode. And as you can see, the model is added with correct weights, the character is rigged and we could define our own animations and export these again as FBX to use it in our Unity projects. So guys, I hope you liked the video and if you do, then don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to support my tutorials, please use my Patreon, this would really help. Thanks a lot for watching this and see you soon on JNM.